like this was a form of retaliation. Because that woman claimed she was fired for following the rules. The Tiffany Sager says her company told her to reopen without the state's approval when she refused. She says she was let go. And now Target 11's Rick Earl reports she's taking her former employer to court. She worked for Acceptance Now for a decade, but she says the company let her go after she refused to defy the governor's order. I just feel extremely disappointed with my company, the fact that they just didn't have any regards for my health or the health of the um, other coworkers and the customers. Tiffany Sager says she was fired a couple weeks after refusing to reopen the Acceptance Now Finance Store that's located inside this furniture store in Robinson Township. She says her manager told her to open on May 3rd, even though the governor's order closing all non-essential stores wasn't lifted until May 15th. I feel like I did what I needed to do to follow the governor's orders and also reach out to my superiors. Sager says she was told it would be by appointment only. She says she repeatedly reached out to other supervisors with questions but got no response. Another manager eventually reopened the store and Sager was told her position had been eliminated. Did you clearly feel then that when they told you, you you didn't have a job that you were retaliated against because you refused to come in? That's exactly um, how I felt, and I also expressed that, um, that I felt like this was a form of retaliation because I questioned um, the mandatory stay-at-home order and how, the, how they were opening up the, the store. The company website has a page devoted to COVID-19 precautions stating, quote, whatever we can do to ensure everyone's safety, health, and peace of mind, we are committed to do. Sager and her attorney have now filed a complaint against the company. They should be commending employees like that, and instead they were in such a hurry to get their business back open that they disregarded their obligations and her obligations, and instead of honoring her legal obligations and her you know, moral and ethical obligations to keep herself and her customers safe, they simply swept her aside. And Sager is now asking an arbitrator to award her back pay along with compensatory and punitive damages after she claimed she was fired for doing the right thing. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News. All right, Rick, thank you very much. And we received this statement from an attorney representing Renna Center that reads in part, Mrs. Sager, Ms. Sager was offered multiple opportunities to return to a sales manager position, but declined to do so, even though Renna Center's operation of its acceptance now locations was consistent with Governor Wolf's orders.